What? What are you talking about? Welcome back, everyone, to some more Danganronpa 2. I am so sorry for the uh, very abrupt ending to the last episode. I really wasn't feeling very well, and I don't think it was helped <laughs> by the fact that my eyes feel like they're being butt-fucked constantly in, <laughs> in this fun house. We've made it to the grape hall, or, well, the, the grape side of the fun house. Um, there's a very interesting statue here. I'm really curious to know what's going on with this place. Hopefully we'll find some answers today, or at least maybe someone will die today. Um, we've got more of, uh, more floors to go check out. Akane's just chilling here next to, uh, a statue of Sakura from the first game, and I'm, yeah, really, really interested to find out what the heck the deal is with that. Uh, did I even talk to everyone last time? I don't remember. I was in such a state in the last episode, I, my head was just, oh, ready to explode. Uh, grape house, huh? This place has terrible taste as well. I agree. I agree. Uh, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if, like, the, the, the textures of every surface weren't just constantly moving. I, I don't know. I don't know. Akane, I'm pretty sure I did speak to you. I'm hungry. Uh, it's not food. Oh, she's hungry. Okay. Uh, for Yehiko! Who's doing a bit of, uh, whoa, a little bit like I was. Uh, starving us, uh, like this seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. Right, yes, of course. So, we've been pretty much told that if we don't get out of here soon, we're gonna starve to death, because there's no food here. There's no lovely cafeteria. There's no catering service. We, uh, we probably might have to rely on, uh, on Nekomaru's, uh, soda streams. Uh, which again, I'm, at least, at least they're coming from his eyes, okay? It could be much worse. Right. But it is, it's very... It is very straightforward, isn't it? Just, no, no fancy, obscure motive this time, just, if you don't kill someone, you're gonna die anyway. Because you, you, your belly's going to be rumbling too much. Uh, that piece of shit. How dare he pull such a dirty trick on civilians? I don't know. Would it be better if they if we were in the military? I don't. I don't think it would. I, I really. It'd still be pretty messed up. Right. Should we check out the great Paul? I think that's probably a great idea. Um. Neko doesn't seem to be too bothered about the toilets anymore. Should we just try and? Enter them anyway, probably can't. Gah, so there's a bathroom here as well. Regardless, I still cannot shit. That's the only downside to this body. The only downside. To being a robot. Yeah, the only downside. Your optimism is praiseworthy. Uh, I do like Nako. I am worried that he's gonna be either a victim or somehow linked to this next murder. Great Paul door. Right, let's check the map again, because... Okay. I think that's where we actually came from, isn't it? Is that... That's where we came from. Or was it the door to the south? Where did we come from? Where did we go? Did, did we... No, we came out of the elevator, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, that goes to Strawberry. Okay. Okay, I think. <laughs> it's been over a week, and my brain has actually been, like, screaming at me for most of it. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like at Strawberry Hall, I only need to press this button. Show some spirit! All right, leave it to me! Nakumaru raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. That's not opening! That's weird, when we were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. Okay, maybe this is where we actually came from. I thought- I thought we came from, I don't know, anyway. Uh, don't tell me it's out of order. Fine. Uh, fine time for it to break down. W well ob it obviously shouldn't. Gachunk. Huh? Oh, did you hear something? Yeah, I heard a gachunk. What, what, whatever that is. And that's when Nakumaru started shouting. As if he hasn't already been doing that anyway. Oh! It has opened. Okay. The door opened. Yeah, so we- yeah, we've been in- in there. 
Or... T well, we were on the other side of that door. What was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. So this is Grape Tower. Hmm, the structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. It's like... Just... just fruit in a basket, innit? Uh, the building in the same circular shape. I don't know what I was going- I was trying to go for like a really clever, like, fruit metaphor. I don't know, anyway. Uh, the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <laughs> However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Well observed. At least your, uh, visual senses aren't, you know, malfunctioning. Uh, speak of, uh, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. Uh, well, we got another illustration of, uh... Usami, with grapes in her mouth, which is quite adorable. Uh, this feels different from Strawberry Tower. The Usami picture over there had a strawberry in her mouth. Gods. No wonder we've solved all these crazy murder mysteries. We we're just, we're so perceptive. But what's truly different? What What's truly different? Okay, I'm not picking up on what's actually truly different here. Um, Neko, you have any ideas? Mm, but why did Grape Hall's door not open sooner? That's definitely strange. Well, this building's existence is a mystery. All of this is fucking weird. Like, I don't know if a door having a bit of a delay on it is the weirdest thing. Or even in the top 20 weirdest things right now for us. On the Grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. Yeah, because it goes to Strawberry Tower. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower, that sounds complicated. It really, it really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. Um, hiding someone in a fake pillar of wallpaper while staging a, 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 a hanging in, in a hospital using a, 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 a baby monitor, that's complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. Huh? Mm, so on, on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, a strawberry door. That's even more comp- It's not really, because they're linked. It's just basically saying, yeah, through this door is Grape Tower, or through this door is Strawberry Tower. <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. No, I don't think it will. I see. Although, actually, looking at the layout of this place, it it would be impossible for Strawberry Tower to be on the other side because. Wait, I'm so confused. I don't think this map is right because surely. Yeah. I... That's not right, is it? That's just... That's not, like, an accurate map, or not an accurate representation, obviously, because... Yeah. Why... Yeah. Because otherwise, like... You know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? I, I was... Ignore me. Ignore me. If so, there's only, uh... The only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. Chucky, welcome back. I've missed you so much. <laughs> so much it hurts. Uh... <clears throat> I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? What did you say? Before we get to that... Oh. <clears throat> Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? Much to my, uh, dismay. Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, we agree. We agree. S so you ran away. Yeah, Chiaki's back! She's seen the light! She's like, nah, Mage is awesome. I mean, Hajime. Hajime's awesome. Uh, Chiaki. Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Yeah, surely it does lead to Strawberry Tower, right? Even if I got confused about the map. Definitely. Because otherwise, that map would need several pages, wouldn't it? Because if you're going to overlay each floor on top of each floor, which is where they should be if it's a tower, then, you know, you know what I mean. Definitely. <gasps> Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. <laughs> I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the Funhouse's structure. 
Okay. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? I I absolutely do, yeah. Pay co close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? Yeah. And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? Yeah. See? On the other hand, Grape House... From the elevator, great pose. Yeah, it, the 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 next to each other. And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Um. Now here comes the main point. With those two buildings. Whoa! Oh, great, great. Thanks, Kazuichi, for interrupting Chiaki's freaking uh, little moment there. You here all along? <laughs> oh, he's brought Nagito as well. She's with me now, okay? You can trund you know, trundle off. Hey, Jack, you don't go running off on your own. Hey. You disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. And? How is that my problem? Man. Huh. Was that annoying for you? That's right. Hell yeah, it was. I don't want to be alone. Uh, don't want to be alone with a creep like you. Straight to the point. This is troubling. <laughs> this is troubling. Oh, <laughs> uh, anytime I get a shitty YouTube comment now, I'm just gonna respond. This is troubling. Uh, I I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Well, I don't think he trusts me either, Nagito. If that makes you feel any better. Hey. Hey, you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up! To be fair, I, I... I can relate to that. I think I trust animals way more than humans. Uh, well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Oh, everyone's here now. Huh? Huh, you all came? <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Yeah, I didn't even check out the other floors yet. Either. Well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is... I... I don't get this at all! I don't get this at all! There's no food anyway. This ain't funny at all, yeah. Damn yep. it! I, I heard... That is... It's super painful to die from starvation. I would imagine it's unpleasant. And quite slow. Before that happens, why don't we, you know... Uh, the hamsters that Gundam carry... I'm not eating a hamster. I'm not eating one of the four Dark Davis of Destruction. Not only because that's cruel, and probably not very filling for the amount of people that need to eat. I don't I don't know if Gundam would take that very well. Gonna gonna throw that out there. You insolent fool! <gasps> Sonya doesn't like that either. You imbecile, what are you implying? Ah! Yeah, you fucked up, buddy. You fucked up. You just you just pissed off your crush. That was close. Oh, Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark davers of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. Any anyway, uh, but are the hamsters going to be okay without food? Yeah, do, I, I assume they have to eat as well. I shall engulf this world. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. Of course they are, yeah, yeah. Uh, as, as, as long as those seeds are there, the four dark davers of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear that. Oh. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, yeah, right? Oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say, I suppose. Now then. Uh, uh, is it fine if Gundam, Fiiko, and I represent, uh, represent our teams and give their report, the reports? Yeah, sure, whatever. Damn right. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, yeah. mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I'm still really, 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 really curious about why Sonya has teamed up with Gundam. I do wonder if maybe some of their memories have resurfaced, even on a subconscious level. Maybe... 
Maybe they were a thing. Who knows? That's going to suck for Kazuichi if that's the case. Um, I think the priorities are off slightly. Okay, well... Actually, I would like to just talk to Shiaki. Yeah. No, okay. Okay, whatever. Alright, um... Sonya. All right. Oh, it was Gundam. Yeah, okay, it was Gundam. Uh, what does Sonya think these reports are supposed to be about? I don't know. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you. I won't let you say such nonsense like, I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the front. Oh yeah, I did actually forget about that. Hey, hey! C could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lowly humans. Wait, 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 wait. Are you implying that he's not a lowly human? Kneel. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of the... of ice. The, the Overlord of Ice of the Destroyed World of Death. Feast rise on this. <laughs> a motor. It's a ship part. Oh. But based on its... Well, yeah, it's tiny. Like, that's just going to power like a desk fan, isn't it, or something? Uh, isn't that... That's just a radio-controlled toy. Fine. Oh, it's a little remote control boat. Oh, is that the joke? The were ship parts. Oh yeah, no, Monokuma, yeah. Oh, of course, there are ship parts here, but they're for a really small boat. <laughs> if that's the, if, if that's it, that's kind of great. Um, allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. I'm sure that's the case, yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before. Oh. Really? But they bought you hamsters, though. Four of them. And that's probably more ex Well, I don't know. Hamsters are probably quite cheap, aren't they? I've never had a hamster. But I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not asking about that. You mean the shit part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? Loser! <laughs> I gotta give it to you, Monokuma. That was pretty clever. Yeah, you got- you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about the ship being real! Stupid, idiot, moron! Oh dear. Oh, Kazuichi. We've got done, mate. Not that I ever believed that there would actually be shit parts. I just thought that he would just straight up say, Psych, you know, got fooled you, but no. Um... Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. Yeah. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. Who could have predicted that? If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. No. Um, okay, so Gundam wasn't really helpful. Nagito. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me? Since I'm the only one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good at all. Which means it's not that important. I knew he was gonna- I knew he was gonna say that. Hey, bastard! Just hurry up and say it already. Um... Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. Which I haven't been to yet. See? Uh, do you remember that what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? Oh yeah, a few people have said in the comments that I should read whatsoever, whatever's up there, like, a few times. I assume I'm still gonna get a chance to do that. Uh, I actually tried to go there. Oh. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Any examples? Hmm. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there, ever. <laughs> oh, I'm still gonna go in there, Chiaki. Actually... I found a lot. You found a lost child? A lost child? What? Huh? Where did she go? What are you talking about? Hey! Don't decide, come on out. <laughs> 
Is that the, is that the lost child? I've I've missed you, uh, Monami, Asami, whatever your name is now. So the lost child was you. Right? Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all would react. <laughs> it's okay, I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. Well, you should be by now, yeah, we're in chapter four. <laughs> how sad, it's so sad to get used to it. <sighs> she seems a little tense. Uh, did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No! <laughs> I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide any everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin... Well, no. As much as I don't agree with all the, the uh, Monami roasting, she ain't a teacher. <laughs> I'm honestly happy that you're here. Why, are you thinking of eating her? <laughs> huh? Wow, I was right. That was completely- I was like... Yeah, I- <sighs> Me and- I guess me and Akane are weirdly in sync, which is worrying. Uh, you completely stuffed animal- are you a completely stuffed animal? Is there any part of you that left that's still rabbit meat? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm expected to be food? No, no one's gonna eat you. I mean, Monokuma might. Uh, hi Monami. <laughs> Shiver, shiver, shiver. I feel Akane's feral stare. It's like I'm being licked from head to toe. <sighs> but it feels kind of good. Oh. What, what am I saying? That's not it, okay? Don't miss it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a few people that would like to be licked by Akane. Uh, right, who else do I need to talk to? Ka Ka Kazuichi. Huh? Chiaki, when I realized you, she suddenly disappeared, I couldn't believe she went to you of all people. It's because we're fucking besties, mate. Swivel. And now everyone's gathered here all of a sudden. What's going on? You better not say I lured everyone here. Ah. Well, it's not like that. But you look like you already knew this place was important, so you were totally casing this area. I really... You know, I hope you die next, Kazuichi. I hope you die next. So someone who is suspicious of me... Any... Uh, <clears throat> So once someone is once someone is suspicious of me, anything I do will look suspicious to them, huh? What should I do? Ignore him. Ignore him. Uh, Fihiko. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House also has a guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of Strawberry House. Hm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. What a fantastic bit of news. Thanks for that very meaningful report. Also... And there's, a, there's the other phone. Uh, like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge too. And another clock. And another portrait of... He was the guy that founded Hope's Peak. Right? That's what they said? Instead of great button that was on the phone in Strawberry House's lounge... There's a strawberry button on the phone. We get it. We get- we fucking get it. Now then. I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. I, I, I do like you for you, Yiko. I do. But you are saying some very obvious shit right now. For sure. So the picture on the buttons uh, shows where each phone connects to. Like the things on the doors shows where that leads picture on the buttons shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? Absolutely. Feel free. Uh, this is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the fun house? Let me ask. The structure of the fun house? Shut the fuck up, Gundam. Let Chiaki talk. Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently and the strawberry tower where we were in earlier... I think they're actually the same building. Yeah. Connected though, right? The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left. 
Okay, yep, yep. She's just repeating herself. I love this. It's our grape house. It's on your right. And so if we think about it and put those two together... I mean, I'm not going to diss Chiaki for this, because obviously none of the other characters have noticed that. But that was pretty obvious to me from the get-go, right? Like, even if I did get briefly confused about the map, I was like, yeah, well, t obviously. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But... but that might be a possibility. Let's take a look at the door. Isn't that strawberry image the same on... Uh, that's on the elevator and the telephone? Then in the same... It's definitely not just me, right? Like, this... this is... Captain Obvious. I, I've, I, it's like going to a lecture. A TED Talk from Captain Obvious about how to spot obvious things and how they benefit you in life. See. Uh, I've never really watched a full TED talk. I don't know what they are. What? What? Anyway, uh, <clears throat> if that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. Mm. Yeah. And the fact that we learned as well, because that wouldn't really make sense if those elevators were traditional elevators. But we've heard that they go vertically instead of no horizontally instead of vertically. So yeah, that does make sense. Uh, as well as the opposite, the grape door that was at the Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning, we opened the Grape ho Hall's door, uh, when we came in here. So... Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. I mean, it's Perhaps. a weird way of putting that, but... Okay. Which means when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door that we used to come in here... Yep. The great picture should actually be on here. Hey. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side... Mm. That might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nekamaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? <gasps> what? What's wrong with that? Well? When you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall... Didn't it take a... Oh wait, hang on! Hang on, have I been... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. What? Okay, have I just been... Oh, it's, it's just totally obvious. Wait, have I got the wrong end of the stick? Are they saying that it is the actual same place, but it just... Changes? What? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, didn't it take a little while for the door to open? Yeah, it did. See? So, just as I assumed. How, how'd you know? Um... When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly... The Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um... But why? The doors of Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that only one can be open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors opened at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. Oh. Wait, I'm so- okay, they've they've successfully confused me. Because, surely it's just two separate buildings that are joined together in the middle, right? But you just can't be in- you can't access that hall, that where we are now, when one of the doors is open. I think that's what they're saying, right? Which basically means, yes, you can't be able to just go from one tower to the other without using the elevators. Right? That's what they're saying? I think so. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Then, the reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you... So what I mean is... Was... Was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yep. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it now. When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall's door to close. 
if you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Yeah, now it makes sense. Yeah. I thought they were trying to say that somehow it was the same building. Which would be impossible. Although in Danganronpa, who fucking knows? Like... Like, you're saying all this hard stuff uh, I don't get. I mean, again, me and Akane kind of on the same wavelength there. Aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The colour of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way that the same building. You don't know? Oh wait, hang on. No, they are saying that it's the same place, but the lights are changing? What? You did Okay. By reflecting colour light onto the white wall, it makes it look like the the wall colour has changed. Wait. Then what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Maybe the floor is just a screen, and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. So when we got on the elevator... Did it... Did it not actually take us anywhere different? It just... While we were in there, it just changed the... But it was... But it's mirrored. Right? How would... It's not a, uh, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that's actually drawn on the floor. I'm very fucking confused right now. Hi, Again, hi. this is a roll. it's like that roller coaster that we went on. Obviously, then it's safe to say it's the same building, right? But... But this is a very important problem, so isn't it better if we test it out? Yeah, can we please, like, visually test it out so I can actually see what's uh. going on? For example, we should leave something behind here, and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right? And if it's still there, then we conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? Hold on! No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Oh? Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? Because we're not fucking cybernetic. Hey, hey! I'm more surprised that you can actually notice them. Huh? My guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. Movement? So we just need to leave something that stays still. Mm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd be at least something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? Mm. It's quite high performance. Seems that it can even detect your heartbeats and beating pet. Oh, okay. Okay. So we need to leave something inanimate. I wonder if Neko would count. Like, does he even have a heartbeat anymore? I get it. Then it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey! Me and Akane are just, like... <laughs> I just don't have massive baps. Uh, it's as good as any human heart. Okay, he's got a motor running inside him. But... But if we're... Oh, that's where this is gonna come into play. The sleep mode. Function will come to stop too, right? Jeez. Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Shushing. Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Mm. Once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again, or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. I would be too. It's far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It's impossible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? Yeah, why don't we just, like, leave your backpack behind? Or your student handbook. Surely it'd be... Surely there's... You've got a bow. Someone's got... You could... I don't know. Akane could leave a shirt there. Not for that reason. Just saying, as an example... We have many things we could leave behind, not something as important as the handbook, as much as Chiaki and me are besties. I don't know if that's wise. I mean, then again, is it really that important? I don't know. I'll leave this handbook here, and we'll all move over to Strawberry Tower. And if, by chance, the handbook is still there, we can safely say the two towers are the same, right? Okay, let's try it. We left behind Chiaki's handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang a minute. They're saying the tower is the same building. Which, yes. Again, that's fairly straightforward, right? Because... It's connecting both of them. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. I think they've just made this way more complicated than it actually is. Of course this is the same tower. And yeah, they've just changed the- Oh my god, of course. They've just changed the colour. I, I- They're not- They're not saying that the other parts of the buildings are the same. Because they can't be. Because they're mirrored. It wouldn't make sense. You couldn't- Even if you change the colour of them, the layout would be completely different, right? It would be the opposite. Oh my god. I should- I- I'm so glad I didn't keep playing this when I was actually, like, quite ill, because there's no way- <laughs> there's no way, man. Right. Yeah, 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 it's just you can't connect- you can't- oh my god. I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I'm doing as bad a job as- of explaining it as the game is. But I think that's intentional on the game's part. Um... Right. I'm still not sure about this statue, though. That's so strange. Um... Right, hi Gundam. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. If I get serious, I will not be captured by a mere sensor. <laughs> but even so, doesn't that sound boring? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go search these- What happened? Uh, d d nothing. Never, never mind. Scratch that. Yep. I'll go to the elevator after I quickly chat with everyone. Hey! Including Ekamar's functions, Monokuma sure does have a lot of useless technology. But still, Monokuma looks like he's pretty high-tech himself. Yeah. Hi, Kane. Apparently hey, we're just hey. mind-bonded at the moment. That reminds me, does Coach Nekumara still get hungry? I mean, he's a robot now. I doubt it. Mm. Sleep mode is convenient, but while I'm sleeping, I'm utterly defenseless no matter what happens. This makes me just think that... We're gonna leave him behind. And... He's, we're going to find him, but he's going to be in pieces. Or something like that. I don't know how that would work. Maybe I'm completely off. Or maybe this will happen at some point. Even I'm a little worried about being left alone in that state. Like, they're really hammering home that he's going to be defenseless. Ah, you saw me. Mona me. Hey, why'd you create such an ugly looking bill? Oh. <laughs> Sorry for mimicking you there, uh, 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 Monami. Yes? Like I said, it wasn't me. Um... Well, you know, it already existed back when it was an attraction at the amusement park. You're so evil. Calm down, I'm, I'm on your side, okay? I'm your only friend here, really. Monokuma's the one who might have fight it like this. It's all his fault. You make it sound so easy. How much time and energy did he put into modifying a building like this? Not got a clue. Chiaki. Hey, hey. After traveling from Strawberry Hall to Strawberry Tower, if the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same building. Yeah, two towers, not halls. That's where I'm getting confused. That's where I was getting confused. Huh? I, I got confused because I knew exactly what the situation was, but the way that they explained it made it seem like I was maybe not thinking about it right. You know what I mean? Where the, you overthink something, whereas actually it was pretty damn simple. Uh, if, it's better if we just hurry up and check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I gotta, I gotta chat with people. It is strange. It no? seems seems you're all being quite rude to Nekomaru. Have you ever heard of the tr uh, three laws of robotics? I thought she was talking about when she said the rules of robotics. I was like, yeah, the three laws. I've seen iRobot. Uh, I'm not familiar. All right. Very well, I shall explain. If this continues, I will feel just awful for Nekomaru. But I think it's best if we head towards Strawberry Tower for now. Oh. Yes. Uh, you are right. Then let us discuss this in greater detail later. I hope we will. Right. Oh, and hi, Nagito. Jeez. Can't believe this is such high quality sense. It has such high quality sensors and created such an elaborate setup. Well, well, it's not like this is something new. This whole time, Monokuma has been doing a lot of intricate stuff. Right. Let's go. I see. I see. This elevator is rather quiet. 
It is like a toad's wart. Oh, wait, never mind. What? What are you talking about? Hey, hey. Well, yeah, what are you talking about? Hmm. Doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems we're moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. Yeah, they, they are right next to each other. Uh. If two towers are connected in the middle... No, if two holes are connected... I mean, I guess, though, it is a tower. It's just the middle part's the... The middle part's the hole, isn't it? Didn't they? Yeah, Great Hall. The middle part is the hall because there's no bit above it. But even though you can't really see the ceiling... <sighs> Alright, let's head over to Strawberry Tap. They, they call it Tower. But it's Hall. Or is what we're... Is... Let me check the map. House. House. Ho oh, hall is the is the corridor, and that's the ta that is the tower. Right. Oh god, I hate I hate Strawberry Tower so much. We still haven't been in Final Dead Room yet. Hi Gundam. You as confused as me. Oh hi Chiaki. Hi. If we go inside Strawberry Tower from the door in Strawberry Hall, and if my handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same building. I mean, Monokuma could just move it to fuck with us. He could do that. Let's go. If you press the button next to the door, you should be- yeah, I... Hey, hey. Yeah, you press it, Chucky. Stay back. Wait, step aside, you fiends. W what? In the cell of evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go by four dark devas of destruction! Supernova Silver Fox Sandy! He's gonna make the hamster do it. That's cute. It pressed the button. I feel like that's gonna be important as well. Truly, this is the Skyline Lamentation art of the Demon Mouse. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Soon the door of destiny shall open. Destiny! Uh, amazing, your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have appeared. I see, your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. The Dark Lady? There's a, there's a, there's a connection between those two. There's a connection. Mmm. Amazing! Mmm, truly amazing, you must have a strong trusting relationship with them. Kazuichi ain't liking any of this, I'm telling you that right now. Th thank you. He going as red as the as the strawberry wall. Huh? Wow. You didn't need to bother making your hamster press it, jealous Kazuichi. You don't have a a, a button pressing hamster. Mm. Just as I thought, it's taken a while to open. Hmm. Mm. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower. Then wait for the other door to close. At that moment, we heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. Well, Hi. shit. Look over there? Yeah. So it is exactly how I thought it was initially, but then the way that they kept going on about it, I was like, wait. <laughs> the moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonya raised her voice. So instead of calling it Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower, we should, we should just call it the Tower. Uh, when I looked uh, where she was pointing, oh yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it as we walked in. There's the handbook. Yep. There's no doubt. This is my student handbook. Huh? If the handbook Chiaki left in Grape Tower is here, then that means... <laughs> it seems that we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Then that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape House's Grape Hall. We've spent like 40 minutes establishing something 
that just seemed so fucking obvious. This is troubling. It also means that we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. It's... It's probably... Up, right? Maybe? I, I don't actually know where the exit would be. Hmm. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you actually uncovered a secret like this. It doesn't really seem like much of a secret. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pull through for us. Chiaki has been so epic the entire game, Nakito. You can suck my left big toe. Oh. However... Max just came in my room. Uh, why was the building designed so strangely? You're so evil! Uh, if it was originally a funhouse uh, and a, an amusement park attraction, then that would explain the, the decor. Um... There's probably no reason, it's simply because it's a fun house. Yeah. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Mm. Um, who are you again? Yes. I'm Monami, why did you forget about me? <clears throat> that reminds me, whatever happened to Monokuma now? Yeah, the, Mo the Monokuma announcement. Huh? What do you mean? No one's died. Shushing! Oh, it's already passed. Max, what are you doing? He's brought in his dinosaur toy. Ugh. Max, I'm recording, bud. You just chill there, mate. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, according to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh, my. Is it that time already? Damn it. Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? That's a very good question. Monokuma appears! Allow me to answer. Every single day, up until now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on the island. It's all part- it's, it's not telling us, so we have to rely on- on... Neko. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life! You guys... Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? Hello. Oh well, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but... <laughs> what are you trying to say? Hmm. For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside and there's no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or... This, this would actually fuck you up pretty big time. It's like being in solitary confinement. Like, that sounds horrendous to me. Completely... Your sense of time will just go out the window. Out the non-existent window. Um, also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't, yeah. What, what, what is he talking about? What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcements, we can just look at the clock. Um. Yeah. That's a good point. We still have clocks, but like, they're, they're not 24 hour clocks. So you could still, if you don't keep track of them, you could still lose track of time. Even if I don't have a uh, look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. <laughs> it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Mm. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Oh, yeah. So who's going to be in which tower? Room assignments. Um. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Why don't we make things simple and split them between the boys and the girls? Yes. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Let's do that. Man. Why is that a bummer, Kazuichi? Why is why would you be upset about that? This too. Must Ladies be the first. Will of can I? Can we sleep in the grape house? I don't want to sleep in the strawberry house. Now then, let us begin. Now then, kittens, choose which house you would like. Oh, no, no, Ch Chiaki. <sighs> they know, they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, let's choose Grape House. Staring at the red room is going to strain my eyes. Yeah, well, I'm the guy that has to play the game. Oh. Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Oh, yeah, they do. Dibs, dibs on the crummy room. Just because, why not? I'm already going to be uncomfortable as shit anyway. 
Uh, each house has guests of varying quality, right? Yeah. Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide who's, uh, those next, huh? I'm trying to think, how many... Is there four of us? Each four? Sonya, Chiaki, Akane. That's it, right? There's only three girls? And then Kazuichi, Nako, Nagito, me. Gundam. Five boys. So one of us is going to have to have the crummy room. Uh. Oh, one guy would be left over. Oh, wait, is there six of us? Who did I forget? <laughs> only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course. I love me some rock, paper, scissors. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys have begun. I'm not quite sure how you do that with multiple people, though. I really don't. Do you just do it? Because, like... Yeah, I don't... Unless you get lucky, where, like, half the people pick one thing that loses, and half the people pick one thing that wins. But what if it's a draw? What, what happens? And the results... <laughs> uh, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. Well, you are the lucky one. Yeah, ultimate lucky student. Okay. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided. You two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner. <laughs> it's me. I'll be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Oh, Fuyihiko. I forgot about Fuyihiko. My bad. Sorry, bud. Um, why do I get to lose? Am I the ultimate unlucky student? Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. So where am I going to sleep? <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Or, 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 how about I just take one of the spare rooms on the in, in Grape Tower? Grape House. Why not? I know I'm not a girl, but... Hey. Hey, how about you... you Great house girls, did you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yep, we had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. <laughs> Sonya and I have deluxe room, and apparently Akane wants what? Of course. Oh my god. What is happening? I said I wanted a crummy room as well. I can't. What is going on? Why am I Akane today? Huh? Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over like that. This is good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. Fair enough. Um... So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. Yeah, why don't I have the standard room? <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Oh, thanks, Sonya! Huh? Hey, hey, hey! You can't do... Yeah, I know you're pissed, aren't you? Yeah, suddenly, suddenly... But, yeah. Oh, my. Why not? Well... I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be a traitor. Might be the traitor, you know? Fuck off. Fuck uh, all the way off. What are you saying? Miss Sonia? What, what am I... Huh? Huh? So... Yeah, only... Oh, I'm so glad they're sticking up for me. Especially Chiaki. That actually... That actually... Made my heart all the flutter a little bit there. Like... Even I don't think he tried to trick us. <laughs> Seems you're the only one who thought Hajime suspicious. I'm pretty sure you did as well. Or were you just fucking with me, Nagito? Hey! Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Yeah. Right? He's just, he, no, I can tell, he's just, he's playing the game, mate. He's playing the game. Hatchman, you can use one of the leftover rooms. Nice. Yes, I don't get to, yes! Grape tower, house, hall, here I come. I'll feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in this, oh. I'd feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. Okay then. Even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Yeah, bed is nice. Oh. Now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Aw, oh, man. It, like, it doesn't make any sense. It sucks to be you, Kazuichi. And so, all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of Strawberry House. And all the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed on the second floor of Grape House. Oh, I mean, there's still, you can have the standard room in Grape House. 
Yeah, just as I thought, I was forgotten. <laughs> well, I'm used to it after all. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Weird. So this is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> <coughs> oh, gosh. Sorry, guys. Random cough out of nowhere. Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. Hmm, what do you mean? Um... You see, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but a Grape House is hex uh, hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. Yeah, I much prefer gra grape, grape House for life. Uh, for a princess, you sure do think about petty stuff. It's not, it's not petty. Having more space is nice. Sleepy. So sleepy. Looks rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yeah, yeah. Yo. Two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? How'd you make use the one next to the lounge? Then. So the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccup unoccupied. I wonder if that's going to be important. Easy as pie. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. Oh, okay. You don't really need to draw faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. Good night. Good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to the deluxe room. Good day. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> good night, see you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went into their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. Yep. But, is it gonna let me... Oh, whoa. Oh! Oh, hang on. There's been a pet development. Is it finally hatched? Oh no! Oh, it's full despair. It's a ghost now. It died. It 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 it, it drowned in its own shit. Do over. It died. <laughs> I let Chibi Me die. Oh. Oh. Oh well. Never mind. Anyway. Right, keep out. What's around there then? Doesn't seem like there is anything there. That's weird. Oh. Is it forcing me to go to bed? No, 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 no. Well, it probably will. It probably will. I want to go to the third floor. I should get some sleep for today. Okay. Uh... This is my room. I mean, it does look a bit shit, to be honest. But uh, surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. That is false. You ain't preventing shit. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. Mm. Oh, we still get Monokuma Theatre, though. Dash dot 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 slash dot 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 dash dot dash dot dot. I don't... I don't speak Morse code. I wonder what that actually is saying. Because that probably... To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I love that. That was great. Oh, okay. It's morning already? Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. Well, we assume it's morning. I don't know how long we slept. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. Let's do that. Uh, I wonder if anyone else is awake. Uh, lounge. Let's see, the time is... 9 a.m. But it's, again, it's, a, it's an analog clock, so it could, it could be 9 p.m. We could have slept, like, oh, nearly 24 hours. We probably didn't. Uh, it's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. 
I should find someone to talk to, or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. We still get free time! Okay! Right. Well, I think this is probably a good place to end it then, and we'll do this next time. Um, I'm absolutely going to be spending time with Chiaki first. And, yeah. Who's going to... Who? What's going to happen? There's, it's such a uh, an interesting location. Even if they did, again, make the whole, whole th tower thing just way more complicated than it actually was. We'll have to find, uh, find out and see what happens next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, I am feeling a little bit better, hopefully, going forward. So I don't know when the next video will be, but I'll, I'll try my best. Take care. Um, like, like the video, whatever. See you next time. Bye.